What is happening, Dolphins fans, and welcome to another episode of the Finns Tailgate. I am your host, El Capitan, and today on the tailgate party that never seems to stop, we're going to be taking a deep dive player profile look into Taran Armstead. But before we get going, guys, make sure that you're hitting that like button, comment below, sharing the video, checking out all the great shows we have here on the network. So with that, we'll get on to Taran Armstead. Cue the music. I never go broke, let me say that. Big T stead, I don't play that. Never do dirt where you lay at. Never show them hoes where you stay at. Feet kicked up in the Maybach. As a native of Kaluka, Illinois, Armstead attended Kaluka High School, where he was a letterman in football and track. As a junior, Armstead shot up from an already big six foot two, 250 pound offensive lineman to a staggering six foot four, 300 pound senior, leading the coaches to an 11 and two record and a league title, earning an all Southern seven conference and all class 5A selection. In track and field in high school, Armstead was named the News Demo Democrat Track and Field Athlete of the Year. In his college career, Armstead in the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, where he played for the UAPB Lions football team from 2009 to 2012, he was an all-Southwestern Athlete Conference selection during his final three seasons at Arkansas Pine Bluff. He also did track and field in college. Armstead was also the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions track and field team where he competed as a shot putter, discus thrower, and hammer and hammer throw. He got a personal record of 18.73 meters in the shot put at the 2012 NCAA West Regional, placing 10th at the 2012 Pepsi Florida Relays. He placed fourth in the discus throw with a career best throw of 50.37 meters. Entering into the combine at six foot five, 306 pounds, with an arm length of 34 inches, Teron Armstead ran the 40 yard dash in 4.71 seconds, a best by any lineman since 2006. He provided the first wow moment that year in the combine by any of the offensive linemen. That year, the New Orleans Saints drafted Armstead in the third round, the 75th pick overall, making him the highest draft pick out of Arkansas Pine Bluff. The pick was announced by retired Saint Steve Goldstein at the time using a wheelchair and a computerized voice due to his advanced a a ALS. On May 9th, 2013, the Saints signed Armstead to a four-year deal worth $2.8 million with a $617,000 million, $617, signing bonus. Armstead began his rookie season as a backup left tackle behind Charles Brown. On September 22nd, he played his first regular season game against the Arizona Cardinals. On December 22nd, he received his first start as the against the Carolina Panthers, and he remained the starting left tackle the last four games of the Saints season, totaling into 140 snaps, getting only two penalties and giving up three sacks for an overall 65.7 PFF grade. But he did come alive in the postseason, logging 150 snaps with one sack and one penalty and receiving an 80.4 PFF grade. Armstead began the 2014 season as the Saints' starting left tackle after Charlie Brown left. Excuse me. Armstead began the 2014 season as the starting left tackle after Charles Brown left during the season via free agency. Playing and starting in 14 games that year, he amassed 839 snaps, getting, getting six penalties and giving up only three sacks. PFF had him ranked as the 45th tackle that year, giving him a grade of 78.6. He started the first 14 games of the season, but missed the last two due to injury. Armstead returned to the Saints starting left tackle for the 2015 season 
and started the first four games. After missing two games due to injury, he returned for week seven to play the next nine games in a row. Armstead also missed the last game against the Falcons, but Armstead was voted in as a Pro Bowl alternate in 2015. After a promising season, season, he was rated the third best offensive tackle in football by Pro Football Focus with three sacks allowed, two quarterback hits allowed, and 14 quarterback hurries. On May 3rd, 2016, Armstead and the Saints agreed to a five-year deal worth up to $65 million contract extension. The contract had $38 million in guarantees with an $11 million signing bonus. After starting the first two games in 2016, Armstead was unable to play for weeks three and four after suffering a knee injury and then was placed in, on IR on December 14th, 2016. Appearing in only seven games, he did log 397 snap, snaps, surrendering only two sacks and one penalty, ending the year on IR with a PFF grade of 82.6. The next year, on June 14th, 2017, during minicamp, Armstead suffered a torn labrum, which required surgery, which was he was expected to miss four to six months, but he returned earlier than expected, however, and started 10 games at left tackle during the regular season. He ended up playing 541 snaps, allowing only four sacks, one penalty, receiving a 75.8 PFF grade, playing another 126 snaps in the postseason, surrendering only one sack and one penalty, and then received a 71.1 PFF grade. In 2018, although only playing and starting in 10 regular season games, Armstead received his first Pro Bowl nod as well as second team All-Pro via Associated Press. With 602 snaps, he logged only one sack and one penalty and received a 90.4 PFF grade and it became painfully more obvious that Teron Armstead has fully arrived at the all-pro talent, helping the Saints go 13-3 and and winning the NFC South and taking them to the playoffs. They won the divisional round 20-14 to against the Philadelphia Eagles before losing the conference championship 23-26 to to the LA Rams. 2019, while earning his second Pro Bowl nod, Armstead played in 935 regular season snaps and didn't give up one sack, again helping the Saints to its third 13-3 and record in a row while his PFF grade remained at an 80.4. The Saints had a record-breaking season that year but lost in an eventual heartbreaker in the wild card round 20-26 to to the Minnesota Vikings. In 2020, Teron Armstead made his third Pro Bowl. Armstead received an 86.6 PFF grade while playing 857 snaps, giving up three sacks and four penalties, getting the Saints to another NFC South crown with a 12-4 and record. Even with zero sacks given up and winning the wild card game 21-9 versus the Chicago Bears, they ended up losing the divisional round 20-30 to to the eventual Super Bowl champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In 2021, despite losing Drew Brees and despite being banged up early in the year, landing him on, on the IR slash COVID reserve list on, 20, on November 28th, 2020, Armstead ended the season having played 468 snaps with three penalties and only one sack allowed, giving him a 75.9 PFF grade. Armstead was also nominated to the NFL's top 100 list, ranking in at number 79, even though they missed the postseason with a 9-8 and eight record. The end of the 2021 season marked the end of an era for Teron Armstead as the Saints left tackle. As he entered into free agency, the 30-year-old veteran pass blocker and run game road grader was open for business. And on March 22nd, 2022, the Miami Dolphins signed Armstead to a five-year, $75 million deal worth up to $87.5 million with a $43.37 million guarantee in money. The nine-year veteran is ranked number two on Pro Football Focus's list of impending free agents and was the number one top free agent prospect 
available on the market in most lists. As the new O-line left tackle, the Dolphins hope the veteran can become an anchor that they so desperately need in the new head coach Mike McDaniel's outside zone blocking scheme offense. Also, as well as helping third-year Tua Tunga Viola, who has struggled up to this point, and hopefully help him become the Dolphins franchise quarterback, knowing he'll have some great protection out there. It's not just about football for Teron Armstead, as his off-the-field work should also be celebrated in his work with the Teron Armstead Foundation. In Cahokia, Illinois, the Team Armstead Community Center was unveiled. Now, Teron calls the center a place to educate, inspire, and motivate our future leaders. The first step for real change is right here. And then he added, this community center isn't an investment opportunity. We're not in it to make money. We are in it for what it can do for others. Gotta love that, right? Now, this has been a long time coming for Tehran. In fact, he purchased an old building in his hometown that was previously an event space and shelter. Then the building was flooded by a winter storm, but the team kept going and eventually repurposed it into a game room, computer lab, and tutoring center. Tehran hopes those who attend the 40,000 square foot center can learn some skills that they may not learn in school, such as taxes, credit, financial literacy, and trade. Now, if you would like to learn more or become a volunteer, please visit TehranArmstead.com. And of course, congratulations to the entire Tehran Armstead Foundation for the impact they're making in their community. In so in conclusion, the Dolphins now have a perceived anchor at left tackle, something we badly need, as I mentioned earlier. Tehran Armstead's obviously a great guy on and off the field. We have a young football team, and hopefully he can be here for years to come. And this will conclude our player profile view of Teron Armstead. Please, guys, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already on the channel. And leave us a comment in the comment section. and Let us know what you guys think of these videos, and we'll try to get out more to you. Thanks.